Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back again with another video uh, for the I GCSE ICT course. And this paper is the winter 2021, so November 2021. Question paper two, and we're doing the mail merge part of this question. So before I jump in, just to remind you, please subscribe to my channel. If you find my content useful, like the video, share the video, um, yeah, and good luck with your exams. Uh, and let me know how you find the video and if there's any other content you'd like me to produce, specifically question papers or parts of question papers, do let me know uh, and I will do that for you. Okay. All right. So like I said, we're doing the mail merge question. And it says here, you're required to carry out a mail merge. So you're going to create a mail merge document using the file n2102 letter.rtf. So it's a rich text file as the master document. And n2102 recruit.csv. So it's a comma separated values file as your data source file. So we have the letter is our actual master document for the letter itself as you can see here i've just got it open we have the fields here the codes for the fields ready to be merged with our data source file which is this one here um, and as you can see if i widen all these columns you'll see basically this is a database of sorts with title first name last name and address some departmental information about the person's job and the job itself their start date and salary so we've got information about people there are nine records in this database in the data source so this is what we're going to use i'm actually going to close this file now because um i don't need it to be open to be able to commence with the question so We've been told the two files we're using. So a mail merge links a text document or a word process document with a data source file. And that's how the mail, that's what mail merge means. These two documents are merged together. We get the data from the data source file and it goes into this letter. So we've been told to replace the text and chevrons. These are the chevrons here, the angled brackets in the master document with the merged fields from the data source as follows so we've got these are all of our fields uh, these are the text and chevron that's in the letter and these are the actual merged fields from the data source so ttl is going to be title fn is first name ln is last name and so on so we're going to go ahead and have a look at that now how we would start that so when i go in to my word process document i have mailings here and if i go to select recipients and then i use an existing list the reason i'm using an existing list because my data source file has already been created typing a new list means you can create the data source within the word process document of sorts so we're going to use a file that we already have available and i'm just going to get that from the desktop so I found the file. So for you guys, all of your files will be in your source files folder. So mine was on my desktop and here it is. Here's a preview of some of the data and the field names. So I'm just going to press OK. And now they're merged, but we can't see the merge at the moment because we have to merge these fields together. So we have to literally go in now and highlight each piece of text and the chevron surrounding it. And then we're going to go to insert merged field. And here is a list of the fields from the data source file. So that makes it really easy. So TTL is title. So, and if you notice now, this has now got double angled brackets around it. And it's got the, the field name title in there. So I'll just do another one just to show you again. So we just select the text and chevrons and go to insert merge field and this fn is first name so i go ahead so i'll go ahead and i need to look carefully through my document to find all of the text 
that's um, in chevron so we've got if you look in the body of the letter we have three fields there that we also need to merge and then in the second paragraph we have another two so you have to go through and you have to make sure that you really take the time to check um, where all the merge fields are okay so i went ahead and i merged all of the fields together with the the text that was in the chevrons i've merged so if i go to highlight merged fields you can actually see in gray the fields that you've merged so it just makes it easy for you to see exactly what you've done and you can check through um, it says in the question paper that we need to make sure spacing punctuation and alignment in the original master document are maintained so I've checked all of that also. So it says, replace the text candidate name with your name. Enter your name, center number and candidate number in the footer of the document and save and print your master document showing the merged fields codes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those details in and show you. And what I will do is I'll keep the merged fields uh, highlighted like this so it's really clear. So candidate name needs to have your name there. And then in the footer, you need to open your footer. And I've showed you how to do this in Word before, but just put in the three columned uh, footer and candidate number and center number. And then you can come off of that and then you would need to now print this off. So you'd go ahead and you go to file and you would print out your document. And that's that step done. So then it says, moving on now to question 24, set an automated filter to select rec recruits where their salary is 18,000 or more. So we've merged our letter with our database but now we only need certain uh, recruits from the database's letters to be printed and these people are it specifies here only the people with a salary of 18,000 or more should be selected so we need to show evidence of a in the form of a screenshot to show how that what method we use to select so I'm going to go ahead and show you that now so we go back into the letter and if you go to edit recipient list and that brings up now all of the uh, people in our database and then we have the option to sort that data or to filter so we're going to filter and then we've got the option to filter on a field and we've been asked that the salary so i'm going to choose salary field is eighteen thousand or more so it should be greater than or equal to 18,000. And that's it. And you need to take a screenshot of this as well. So make sure you do that and then press OK. And now you can see there are four people now that are showing in the list from the, the ones that we had already. So I'm going to press OK there. And now that will be... Um, done so I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my evidence into here and I will then crop that and everything um, ready for my evidence to be printed okay so the last bit of the question it says that we need to merge and print the letters for the selected recruits only save and close the files print the result of the merge make sure you've entered your name sentence number and candidate number on your letters so we put it in the footer so that should make it everything will be visible so we go back to our letter now and if we preview the results now we can see that those merge fields now have the actual data in them from the database and you can check the salaries and if you go through here's number two and number three and number four so if we go to print now these letters will now be printed out so you just again go to file and print and you print your four letters out and that's the end of the mail merge and that's the end of this actual question paper as well the last bit would be to print the evidence document 
but that's winter 2021 question paper two hope that was useful please do let me know and i will see you in the next video good luck with your exams bye